Hey guys, so I'm out here on my front porch just waiting for my son's bus to get here. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update on his schooling. Um, so if you remember back in February, uh, where we were attacked in the community because my son has special needs, I'll link that here, here, whichever where it is. Um, the reason that he was with us was because he was suddenly stopped going on the bus in the morning and also um, then wouldn't transition into school and kind of wouldn't leave me. Um, he was having huge anxiety about transitioning into school, but strangely, it wasn't with his dad. So it was just whenever I dropped him off, but he wouldn't even go on the bus to go to school, but he would come on the bus to come home. So it was all very strange. Anyways, it's progressively got worse and worse every time that, well not every time that I dropped him off, but over the next few months. And about three weeks ago, um, one of the mornings that I tried, tried <laughs> dropping him off, he actually ended up beating me, his teacher, his two EAs, and the learning resource teacher was present, but I don't think she, any of the shots landed on her. Um, and of course, with him being nonverbal, we can't get any information from him. But basically, like, he's in crisis every morning. Um, whether it's actually to get into the school, to leave me, we, we aren't sure what's happening. Um, so after that morning, I was actually very glad that the learning resource teacher witnessed the whole thing because after we finally got him into school, it took about an hour um, and I actually had to leave and kind of pretend that I was going into the school and then hide in the school <laughs> because my car was right outside. So it's not like, you know, I was leaving him and then could just hop in my car and go. Um, Plus, I was in a lot of pain. He had belted me so many times in the head. He's got this really good <laughs> way of getting me with an open hand right in the temples, and it just, it stops me in my tracks. Um, he did get a couple as well that kind of missed, and they went all in here, and for a couple days, I was a little blue in here. Um, above and beyond the usual black, <laughs> you know, black rings that I have under my eyes. Um, and so anyway, I basically had to go and hide out in the office and the learning resource teacher came in and I was just, I was bawling. I, I was at my max that day and it was so, I mean, yes, it was the physical pain, but it was also just the emotional pain of watching him go through this anxiety and crisis that he was going through almost every morning by then. So thankfully she called um, my son's dad because she's like, what does he say about all this? And I told her that he just says, well, you know, it doesn't happen when I drop him off. So there's nothing I can do. It's not my problem. Um, and it's like, yeah, actually it is because your son's in crisis. So she called him and the temporary solution that we have until the end of the school year is for my ex-husband to actually take my son into school. Thankfully, he is able to do that. His work is, is accommodating that. I'm not sure if he actually starts work at 8.30 or 9, but if it's 9 o'clock, then that means that, you know, he's late every day getting into work. So I'm very appreciative to his employer to be able to accommodate this. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, my son has to be dropped off for 8.30. So even if they start it at 8.30 for work, his work, then they're still accommodating it, which is just amazing. Um, so that has actually really, really helped my son's anxiety. Um, unfortunately, I miss him. I really miss him. Um, because that means then that in order to kind of reduce everybody's anxiety and the, the whole stress of getting around and getting him to school in the morning, um, I drop him off at his dad's at six o'clock at night. Um, he's already eaten and everything here. And basically then he can have some transition time at his dad's and then go to bed there. And then his dad takes him into school. And there is my son's bus to be continued. Okay, so he's just inside now doing his kind of after school routine. 
So anyways, um, so my ex-husband taking him, taking my son to school every day has been working a lot better for my son's anxiety, which is great. Um, the stress of everything, there's no more any crises in the morning, which is fantastic. However, we also know this is not a long-term solution. I mean, he needs to be able to go back on the bus. He comes on the bus to come home. So why isn't he going on the in the morning? Nobody can figure this out. But as a result of all this, it kind of got us thinking about him and school and what's going to happen there. Um, he goes into grade 7 next year, which just blows my mind. Um, but there's what's called an intermediate um, ASD class. Well, there's a few of them here in town where basically it's an autism specific class, but for grades 7 and 8. And because he is so much bigger than everybody in most of, well, mostly everybody in his class, um, the learning resource teacher thought it might be a good opportunity for him. So we made the application last month to be able to be considered for this class. And we found out yesterday that he got in. So yay! Um, so now what's going to happen, what did his teacher say? So now the new school, or the new class at the school, is going to come and view him in the classroom here to kind of see what works, what doesn't, um, what tools they already have in place in his current school and see if we can kind of transition them over. Then we are going to go and take a look at the class in that school. Um, and what's great too is that I actually posted on my local group here asking does anybody have their kids in this class and got a lot of positive feedback from it which is fantastic. So. They're known for being a really great class, um, especially for kids like my son. Um, one of the moms, even her son is now 22 or just turned 22, so he's finishing off this school year. Um, and he's been in that class and he is basically a chronological age, very similar um, to my son. Um, well, he's not chronologically the same, he's 22, but when I've met her son, they're very, very, very similar. So he, like, when I see him, I see my son at 22. Um, so it's kind of nice to know that, you know, it's it's a good program there, which is great. So we'll see how that tour goes. Um, and his class now is going to be working from now until the end of June, because that's when our school year ends here. They're going to be working with the kids, there's seven kids in his class, so six plus my son, on the transition to a new school because I think three or four of them of the seven are actually moving to new schools in the new year. So I joked with the teacher that, you know, here you thought that you were coming to the school year end, but now your work is really ramping up. <laughs> So they're going to be doing stuff like social stories and a lot of talking about, you know, who's going to be staying, who's going to be going to a new school. We're going to do lots of pictures when we do the, the tour, obviously, to be able to get some familiarity um, for the new school before he even starts. And then, you know, in the new school year, two weeks before when the schools open, I'll be taking him as well to get him used to that. And all of the kind of stuff that the, the class is going to be doing um, will include that he is going there on the bus. And because this school is about 20 minutes away from here, which isn't a big deal. But when I have another child at home um, that has different stop and start times for school, it's, it's a little tough to be able to accommodate both. So we've had a rough few months. Um, but hopefully this is a bit of a ray of sunshine, even though it's pouring rain right now. It's been raining off and on for the last week. Kind of sucks. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to hear more about this uh, transition that we're going to be going through over the next six months. Talk to you later. Bye.